Poppin', what's good, everybody? It's your girl, Abby Rose, and I am back with another fair video, okay? Okay, so don't mind the quality of this video. It might be a little crazy because I'm not using my camera right now because I need to get a new battery, so I'm using my phone. Um, if the quality is a little bad, just excuse that. Trust me, I'll be back on track real soon. I'm trying my best here. I am trying my best, okay? But today's video is going to be different from all my other videos. I wanted to address or give my opinion on the whole Queen and Clarence versus her family thing and Queen and Clarence versus the world, basically. And I just wanted to give my opinion and my two cents on a couple things because there's a lot of um, sides to this story. And I feel like, you know, I want to give my opinion. I want to tell you guys what I think so that you guys can know, like, you know, what side I'm on and what I think about the whole situation. So I'm gonna try my best to put evidence and um, points so that you guys can see what I'm talking about, but I'm not a drama channel, so it's gonna be hard to do that. But if I can, I will definitely do it for you guys so that you guys are not lost with whatever I'm saying. All right, so first we're gonna talk about Queen's documentary that she just came out with. And if you guys have not seen it, it is on her channel. Go check it out, it's real nice. I really, I really liked it, I was inspired a lot buy it because i used to watch queen back when she was doing videos with chris and um it's crazy how much she's grown since then and it's really inspiring to watch that documentary so i think you guys should go watch it but basically this whole thing started again i should say started again because queen's sister tina came out with a live or like a video saying that she was not in that documentary as much as she should have been like her family was not in the documentary as much as they should have been, basically. Stop spamming my shit telling me to apologize. I ain't apologizing for shit. The family parts were taken out. Ne -ne -ne, you need to apologize. No, bitch. I'm not apologizing for shit. I was damn near in that whole documentary. So the, question, the question to answer for that is Queen pulling away from her family. That's what everybody's basically asking and everybody's trying to see, like, is Queen pulling away from her family? I think personally that Queen is not pulling away from her family or that she's not counting them out. Like, I feel like they were in that video as much as they should have been because it is a documentary about Queen. It's not about Tina. It's not about her brother. It's about Queen. So I feel like her family was in that short documentary as much as they should have been. They didn't need any more highlight because it's Queen's documentary, not theirs. You feel me? Another thing that I don't like is that Tina stays speaking out on Twitter. Like, <laughs> she stay speaking out about their situations on social media. Like, I feel like if I had a sister and um, I had a problem with her, like, I would not be on social media calling her out 24-7 about her relationship, our family. Like, it's nobody's business, you feel me? I feel like we should just handle it behind closed doors. But Tina stays speaking out about their relationship you feel me and i feel like that's not fair to their family because you're making them look dumb but at the same time you have to see what's going on you feel me sometimes you got to reach those petty measures you feel me because i don't know how much this has been going on behind closed doors but i bet you that they have tried to talk to queen many times and queen and clarence and clarence is always in the mix with it you feel me so at the same time i don't like that tina is speaking out on social media all the time but at the same time you don't know what point they're at you feel me we're talking to queen so so a lot of people say that clarence is controlling like that tina and her family are saying that clarence controls um queen and queen can never speak for herself and all it is and what i have to say to that is that queen is always speaking back to her family saying that Oh, Clarence does not control me. He doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. Always listen to your family because they always know what they're talking about. Sometimes you might think like, oh, they dumb. They don't know what they're talking about. But from the outside looking in, you could see more than when you're in love. Like when you're in love with somebody, you're going to be not not looking at the, what's the, what's the word? The big, the big turnoff that you have that people see about them that you might not see. So when you're in love with somebody, there's a lot of things that you choose to ignore that your family will not ignore about them, you feel me? So it's always best to take your family's advice 
even if you don't listen to it make sure that you have it behind your head so that you know that when stuff comes up you know oh my family warned me about this you feel me i don't feel like queen is handling it the right way she's not listening to, listening to her family and this is not the first time she does not listen to them like when chris and queen was going out there was a lot of times that her family would tell her about chris and she does not listen she's always going against her family and um you guys can see this in her videos videos you can see this on her twitter she's always going against them you feel me she never agrees with them she never assists here and like you know i know what you guys are talking about she's always going against her family if you guys do not notice that another thing you can notice about the whole queen and clarence situation is that queen is surrounded by clarence's family and when i mean surrounded i mean surrounded like, Clarence's sister is Queen's manager. Clarence's brother is her security guard. Okay? Clarence's best friend is one of her friends now. You feel me? And I feel like, okay, cool. I feel uh, you guys are in a relationship. So you're going to be around his family. But at the same time, you have his family doing your business. And I understand that not all families could do business things. But I feel like what happens if... You are, and Clarence don't want to be together no more. What happens to that? Everybody still gets a cut of what you're making. You feel me? And I feel like that's not fair because they known Queen for like almost seven, eight months. Like barely. And her family is barely in her life like that. And I'm, I'm only saying that because I see it on social media, the way her family talks about her and all that. But this is just my opinion. Like you could just see the way her family talks to her and the way her family's trying to reach out to her and queen is just not listening at all like at all i feel like it's not okay for her family to be so surrounded with queen i mean for clarence's family to be so surrounded with queen especially since queen is the bread maker like she makes all the money she makes she's the one booking shows she's the one doing this and the only ones that are basically enjoying this lifestyle is clarence's family that's not your family you guys are not married for them to be all up in your business with your money like that, you feel me? I understand you're pregnant now, but that's not fair, you feel me? I don't feel like that's okay. Everyone is also saying that Clarence is alienating Queen from her family and her friends. And I basically only know this because I've seen a lot of tweets from Armand and Trey basically saying like, don't forget who your friends are don't forget like we were here before them and i honestly i agree with them because you can see that everybody that was there for queen like our monitoring all the friends everybody that was there are complaining about the fact that clarence is controlling queen okay and everybody says that oh every that everybody around her is jealous and that's why they're complaining about the whole situation but i think that they're not jealous i feel like they're really trying to reach out to queen and, and take her down from that love pedestal that she's in like i feel like she's her head is too much in the clouds and she's not really seeing what's going on like honestly there's a lot of videos out there that you could see that Clarence is just always trying to alienate Queen from CJ, from Armand and Trey, from her family. Like, you can't really hide that in videos, you feel me? As much as you try to hide the way you act on video, it's really hard to do that because when you vlog every day, it's really hard to hide, like, how you really are with people. And you can see that. Like, you can see how Clarence acts in all the vlogs. You guys just have to watch all the videos. You can see that he acts very controlling. And he's always telling Queen what to do. Like, I understand you from New York, son. I, but like, you don't have to be controlling sis like that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't come at me. I'm kidding. But next point. So if you guys watch Chris and I mean not Chris and Queen. Look at me. Clarence and Queen videos. You could tell that Queen always looks mad, timid, and mad scared to talk or disagree with what Clarence is saying in any other videos. She's always scared to talk over him. She's always scared to voice her opinion. And honestly, you cannot hide that. I'm sorry, Queen. You could say you could say anything you want on Twitter. You could say whatever you want. But at the same time, you are not an actor. Clarence is not an actor. We can see right through y'all on video. Like our your fans watch your videos from the jump. You can't tell us that we don't see what is going on. Your family sees what's going on. Everybody can see what's going on but you. And honestly, you just got to take a step back 
and be like, maybe it's not dumb, maybe it's me. Maybe I need to just see the situation for what it is for once, you feel me? And I feel like Queen never does that. And I, and honestly, I'm tired of watching her stuff and just seeing her be stepped on all the time and seeing her be controlled all the time. Like, it happened with Chris, now it's happening with Clarence, and we've all seen it. Like, this is not the first time that we say that Queen looks mad weak. Like, she looks mad... Like, she looks like a pushover, basically. Like, anybody could say anything to her and she's gonna allow it if she loves them, you feel me? And I feel like that's not okay. So, there's this tweet... That Clarence put out a long time ago and he was like basically that there's nobody else better out there for Queen like she would not find nobody better first of all Clarence let me tell you something right now okay there is a bunch of New York niggas that will probably do way better for Queen than you ever did and let me tell you why because not only are you taking advantage of her situation you could tell that you don't like her like that. Like, we seen it from when y'all started talking. You look like you did not like her like that. Now you like her all of a sudden. And um, it's because she's the breadwinner. If Queen was not who she was, you would have dubbed her. And that's a fact. Like, we could dead see that. If Queen was not who she was, if she was not a singer, if she had no talent, you would not be on her like this. And that's a fact. Argue with me if you want to. Honestly, we can. We can talk about this. But you saying that she's not going to find nobody better than you, she's the breadwinner. She's the show. She's the talent. You don't do anything. You, you can't sing. Last time I checked, you can't sing. So what are you talking about? She can't find nobody better. All you do is tag along to what she does. You feel me? And that's honestly, anybody that wants to argue with me, we can argue because I watch their videos all the time and you could tell. Like, you could honestly tell. Like, it's really crazy that he really thinks that she can't find nobody better than him. Like, she's famous. He just tags along with whatever she's doing. You feel me? And I'm not going to blame everything on Clarence because Queen looks mad needy. She looks like she's one of those little girls that um, does anything to get a man's attention. You feel me? And we're not going to see that behind the scenes, but that's what she comes off as. Like, you can see that she was beasting to talk to Clarence right after she broke up with Queen, with um, with Chris. And um, I think that's why their relationship got so like fast, is because she was using him as a stepping stool to basically fix her heart after Chris. And everybody could see that. Everybody could see that um, their relationship was moving too fast. Like, sis, you got pregnant after like six months, six to seven months after knowing him. Like, not even like, she got pregnant dumb fast, now that I'm thinking about it. But at the same time, it's not about my relationship. Sometimes you are in love with somebody very fast. But at the same time, like, sis, you, have, you was married. You feel me? You was married. There's no reason why you should be jumping into another man's arms right away. You feel me? Focus on yourself. Focus on your kid. Like, I honestly don't understand why. What was her reason for basically moving so fast with Clarence? And I feel like Clarence is taking advantage of that situation because of the fact that she looks like she'll do anything to please him. You feel me? So I feel like just to wrap this whole situation up, that Queen needs to learn how to take a step back and basically look at her situation. Like, not everybody is jealous. Not everybody doesn't like you. Like, your family will always be there for you whether you like them or not. You feel me? And Queen's family looks like the type of family that really rides with her. But at the same time, Queen is not opening her eyes to the situation. You feel me? So, I feel like for now on, she should really take a look at what's going on. Take everybody's advice under the chin and just... You know, be stronger. Be yourself. Like, you're the show. You are the talent. You are the one that's bringing the bread in. Act like it. Act like you're the one that's paying, that's signing everybody's checks, okay? Nobody is signing checks for you. This is all your money. This is all you're doing. So act like you're the you're the boss here, you feel me? She does not act like she's the boss at all. And that's what really blows my mind about Queen. That's why I had to stop watching their videos was because she looks mad weak. She looks like she needs a man. She needs to be under a man all the time to speak, to be successful, basically. Like, with um, Chris and Queen, you could tell... Chris was the reason why Queen wanted to start YouTube. 
now with her singing career, you could tell that um, Clarence is what pushed her um, singing career, and that's not okay. Like, you should be doing it for yourself. You should be doing it for your son. But there's a lot of things that goes into this um, situation that I have not spoken on. If you guys want to see more videos of me speaking about this or speaking about any other drama or giving my own opinions, let me know in the comments down below. Don't come at me. This is my own opinion. If you guys have your own opinion about the situation, please leave a comment. I want to see different perspectives of what you think about this whole thing. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.